Hello, this is Lee Natero. Let's take a look at how to compute p-values from a t-distribution on the TI-89. To begin, we'll go to Stat List Editor and hit Enter. We'll choose option F5 for distribution and choose option 6, TCDF. We need to enter a lower bound, an upper bound, and our degrees of freedom. Since we're interested in finding the p-value associated with t-values of 1.54 or more, our lower bound is 1.54. And although technically the t distribution goes towards positive infinity, so really our upper value should be positive infinity, entering 10,000 here should be sufficiently large. Our degrees of freedom is 11. We'll hit enter, enter, and we can see that the p-value associated with a t-value of 1.54 or more is about 0.0759 or about 7.6 percent. So this is the area to the right of a t-value of 1.54 with degrees of freedom of 11. Let's take a look at doing this with a two-sided test, a p-value for a two-sided test with degrees of freedom 36 and a t-value of negative 3.17. Once again, F5 for distribution, option 6 for TCDF. Now, since our t-value is negative 3.17, we're interested in our lower bound being a very small negative number. 10,000 should be sufficiently small. Our upper value is negative 3.17. And our degrees of freedom is going to be 36. We can see that our p-value is 0 0.0015. However, this is only for a one-tailed test. If we were interested in a two-tailed test, we'd need to actually double this 0 0.00155 value.